what makes a legal marriage in the sight of God? Well, first of all, it's not just a piece of paper. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, this is a piece of paper. I mean, I've been living with her for 10 years. We've got three children. Uh, you know, what's the difference with a piece of paper? It's not just a piece of paper. It's when God sanctions and blesses it and you enter into a covenant relationship. It's not a contract. It's a covenant relationship that you enter in with your spouse. And that's not with a male and a male or a female and a female. It's a male and a female. And so two then, by God's blessing, become one flesh in the sight of God. When they're living together and have been for 10, 15 years without making that covenant commitment, they are still living in fornication. They're not living the way God says they should. So a legal marriage is when God blesses it. And because we live in a law-abiding society, it's usually done through a marriage celebrant or through a, a minister. And uh, you make your vows and you vow that you will remain faithful for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, till death do us part. Keep true only unto you as long as we both shall live. And that seals it. And when you make that covenant relationship with this woman, and she does. Now, when you've made yours, that's still not the marriage. She now then has to reciprocate. She now then has to say, I now will take you. And I will take you for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. And then that is sealed by God, blessed by God, and you enter into a covenant. And it mentions there in the book of Malachi, chapter 2, it says they've entered into a covenant and you become one. And so you could bring forth a godly heritage. So I believe that makes a legal marriage in the sight of God.